The first commercial canning of tomatoes happened in New Jersey back in the 1840s. Now those cans were hand packed and each lid was soldered on one at a time. We've come a long way in the industry of canned tomatoes and Jack's here and he's going to tell us which brand of crushed tomatoes won our tasting. Yes, it's a little bit more high tech today. <laughs> uh, so I brought four of the different brands. These are right from the can. Okay. They're crushed tomatoes. So crushed tomatoes are somewhere between pureed tomato, which are perfectly smooth, and diced tomatoes, which are chopped. Ideally, you want something that has some texture in it. Otherwise, you would just get pureed. Sure. And so you want it to have some body and freshness. So when you start tasting, I want you to pay attention to how much tomato flavor are you getting? Okay. Uh, how much natural sweetness are you getting? and then salt levels, which will vary. So when we spoke to some experts, they said that the temperature used in processing may be related to the amount of freshness. You know, it makes sense. The sure. more you cook something, the hotter it is, the less tomato flavor you're going to get. And so they gave us this idea of separating out the liquid from the solids. And we designed an experiment in the test kitchen to try to get at what is the temperature they're using. And so we put all of the cans of tomatoes, we emptied the contents into a strainer lined with a coffee filter, and then two different kinds of liquid came out. Hmm. The heat activates the color pigments in the tomatoes. So the redder samples means more heat was used. And this gold liquid actually came from our winning brand of crushed tomatoes because they're using a lower temperature and the temperature is not activating the color pigments in the tomatoes, which is totally not intuitive. You would right? think, oh, red is good thing. It's tomato. Yeah. That says tomato. This says watery tomato, but no, it's actually not the case. Yeah, this gold liquid is a sign that a lower temperature was used during processing and you get more fresh tomato flavor. Fantastic. The lower temperature is maybe 160 to 185. Hmm. It's called cold break. And for the samples that had the bright red color, they're being cooked at over 200 degrees. It's called fast break. It really correlated perfectly with the results of the tasting. Other things to think about. Is there basil? And do we want basil? Basil is something that you can add yourself. Mm -hmm. You may not want it in all applications. And does it taste like fresh basil if it's in there? Right. The acidity level varied. Some of them were very soft because they didn't use the citric acid, mm -hmm. which is a firming agent. So we also measured the size of the pieces. When we drained out this liquid, we then got out our little ruler <laughs> and started measuring. And chunks of one half inch or even a little bigger kind of are nicer. They give right. you more contrast. And the ones that were basically all liquid with teeny pieces that are a quarter of an inch or smaller were at the bottom of the rankings. Mm. So I've been telling you all about crushed tomatoes. <laughs> Anything that you're noticing here? Um, this one definitely has basil on it. Tastes like pizza sauce to me. I think the idea of adding basil, at least having that as an option, you kind of want to give yourself an option and not crowd your entire pantry with tomatoes with basil, unless you like to add it to everything, and then why not? <laughs> this one is so thin, it's actually more like, I would call it tomato soup, but tomato soup has more texture than this. This is very thin and watery, not only in texture, there's very little flavor in here. Okay. This one, very thick, and it tastes like a long, stewed sauce to me. So does that mean there's more or less tomato flavor? It's a deeper tomato flavor, but I'm not sure I want that. I want to cook my dishes to that point, but not necessarily start with that. As you mentioned before, things like tomato sauce, tomato puree, that might have a little bit more cooking already involved, add deeper flavor. I'm not sure that I would want that straight from a can. I do like this one. And actually, just looking at it at first, I thought it was diced tomatoes with a little bit of sauce in there. It almost looks like salsa, actually, without everything else in there. It's sweet. It tastes fresh to me. It's not too sweet. I find with crushed tomatoes, sometimes they're just so acidic, and you don't get any of that sweetness. This actually tastes really good. Right, you have to start, the sweetness is coming from the tomatoes. There's mm -hmm. no sugar added to any of these, and so the brands that are sweeter are using sweeter, more ripe tomatoes, okay. which is a good thing. This is definitely my favorite, 100%. Would you like to see what you picked? Yes. You are a winner yet again. I'm a this winner. Is, this is the tasting <laughs> panel's favorite. This is SMT. Now, you may be thinking. San Marzano tomatoes. No. No. They're from Pennsylvania. This even has Italian words on mm -hmm. it. You would think it comes from Italy, but it does not. No. The tomatoes are grown in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. OK. Um, we love it, yep. uh, even though it is perhaps not the clearest origin. Interesting. Now, this thick guy. So this was Hunt's. This was in the middle of the pack. Tasters thought it was a little bitter. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it had more of a cooked flavor. Right. The liquid coming out of that was that red color. So okay. we think it was cooked at a higher temperature. All right. And then? Uh, this was the absolute least favorite from Italy. Oh, really? So no salt, no citric acid, thin, thin, thin. It was the most expensive and our least favorite. No flavor. All right. And? 
this is Muir Glen. They were good tomatoes, but they had basil in them. And a lot of the taste just felt like right. you did. I'm not sure we really want basil in every application. Right, right. Might be good to have on hand for those occasions you want it, but not necessarily all the cans right. of tomatoes in the pantry. Well, there you go. If you'd like to have our winning crushed tomatoes in your home, well, then go out and buy SMT Crushed Tomatoes. It's $3.50 for a 28-ounce can. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.